Welcome to Tom's River Schools today for Thursday, January 19th, 2006. I'm Dana DiStefano. Television production is a junior level course designed to introduce students to the world of video communication. The students get hours of hands-on experience in writing for television, shooting news stories, and editing those stories to air on the district's daily news show. I'm a senior in the broadcast journalism class, and I took the TV production class last year. And I think this class is a lot of fun. I like shooting the stories and editing them on our avios. And I also, I love going into the studio every day of the week and taping the show. My name is Brittany Malloy. I'm a senior at High School East, and my favorite part of broadcast journalism is anchoring every day on the show. Um, TV production taught me a lot last year that I brought in this class, broadcast journalism. We have amazing facilities here, and uh, I would really encourage you to take advantage of them. I mean, there are a lot, of, a lot of schools out there, a lot of students that would love to have access to all the, the technology that we have and, and the, like, the really nice cameras and, and the knowledgeable you know, faculty. Here's a sample story put together by last year's TV production class. It's about a young boy who grew up in New Jersey. And one morning when he woke up, there was a fire-breathing dragon in his backyard. That's right. As I read the book, I could feel the heat from the dragon's breath. East Over Bears jumped into the magic world of reading on Tuesday when they observed a presentation given by Mr. Joe Holliday. Books of Magic is Real is a show that incorporates popular children's books and the art of magic, brings them together, and hopefully the idea is to get your children into the library reading those books. Uh, it's a show that's been in over a thousand different elementary schools all over New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. And every year the show gets bigger and grows, more people and more schools find out about it. And it's a great way to promote your book fair, or if you have like a reading incentive program, it's a great thing for that. Take a little look, take a little look. Yeah, easy! They could be really high. So take a step back, step back, step back, step back. His name is Joe Romano. He's the producer of the show. And Joe wrote the show about 10 years ago with his mom, who was a teacher. And the idea, he, uh, like me, was a magician and decided that he wanted to do something with the magic. And his mom said, why don't you make an educational program? So they sat down and wrote the basis of the show, Books the Magic is Real. And it has evolved over the past couple years. The books have changed with more popular books, like Series of Unfortunate Events and uh, Harry Potter. I started doing magic when I was about 17 years old. I found a magic kit, started playing with the idea of being a magician and found that I really enjoyed it so much. Um, it was one of those things that I just found easy to do, and I enjoyed working in front of people and uh, made it into a career. Count to three, on three, I yell pull, and I yell pull, hold on to your end, don't let go, and no matter what happens, Greg, big smile. All together, one, two, three, pull, and I yell pull, hold on to your end, don't let go, and no matter what happens, Greg, big smile. So remember, each and every time you guys open up a book, it's like catching a snowflake in your hand. Each one contains a little bit of magic. Over at Eastover Elementary, reading books is easier than pulling a rabbit out of a hat. I'm Christina Vines for Tom's River Schools today. So if television or video production interests you, sign up for TV production. If you have any questions, feel free to drop in to MC3 and see TV in 